Earlier this year, it was my wife's grandma's 100th birthday. In preparation for the birthday, the family got together and they were trying to plan a great um, get together. They were trying to plan the birthday celebration. And my wife asked her grandma a question. She said to her, on your birthday, is there anything that you want to do? Is there anything that you haven't done that you've always wanted to do? Is there a place that you want to go that you've not been? Do you want to, you know, ride a hot air balloon? Do you want to fly in a plane somewhere? Is there somewhere you want to go or something you want to do? This is your 100th birthday and now's the opportunity for you to do it. The answer that my wife's grandma gave her was profound. She didn't even have to think long. She just looked back at her and in answer to the question, is there anything you've always wanted to do but you haven't yet done? She just looked back at my wife and she said, no, no. She's almost 100 years old and she says, there's nothing that she hasn't yet done that she always wanted to. Like she's done everything that she wanted to do in life. It's profound to get to the end of your life and be content. Content with all that you've been able to do and not wanting to do anymore. You know, in the Bible, in John 17, verse 4, Jesus got to the end of his life and he looked up in prayer to his father and he said, I finished the work you gave me to do. In Timothy, as Paul is writing to Timothy, he says these words, I have fought a good fight. I have finished the course. I have kept the faith. How can we get to the end of our life, whenever that might be? Or how can we live a life where every day we feel like we are living with purpose? So that are we to pass away? We can say, I fought a good fight. I finished the course. I've kept the faith. How do we live a life with no regrets? A life with purpose. In Philippians 1 verse 6, the Bible says, being confident of this very thing, that he which has begun a good work in us will complete it. If we allow Christ to work in our hearts, if every day we allow Christ into our lives, if we live our lives according to his plan, then we'll live a life of purpose and a life with no regrets.